these are solutions here this video is going to be very short because i wanted to watch to the end and not be in a hurry so please do not miss any po any points so go to p2p trading once you tap on p2p trading the next thing you're going to see is buy sell we are buying so the white the buy is highlighted in white so, okay so once you click once you're done go to filter the filter is for you to be able to filter out every other person that is not a merchant okay so i'm putting it in the amount that i want to buy which is fifty thousand naira so i'll be entering the amount here next why i'm entering the amount is because i want to go straight to those that are willing to sell so go to only show as tap on that button to be highlighted in yellow click on yes the essence of all this is to go straight to those that are willing to sell within the merchants that are willing to sell within that fifty thousand naira limits okay so now once i do that the next thing in my mind is to choose a good percentage from for me 80 above is good but notwithstanding the number of trades they must have done here it doesn't matter because they are all verified seller all right they are all verified merchants so you click on buy you can see the buy button the green button written buy tap on buy and you will be brought here so by fiat simply means the month the amount in naira okay so but i want to buy fifty thousand naira so i'll be putting fifty thousand naira here but if you have a particular quantity in mind notwithstanding the amount just enter it here too and click buy with zero fee so when you click buy with zero fee you'll be taken to this page you can see charts click on the chart if you wish and see what the person have to see what the person want to say once you're done you can come back here then the next thing you need to do is to go to payment page because this is where you get to see the details where you're going to make your payment to so now i'll be tapping on to that after that you can see the payment details will appear then you copy the account number tap on the for uh, the square icon beside the account number I'll copy it so once you do that i'll be leaving this page right now minimize do not close so i'll be minimizing now to my hub to make payment to my bank hub where i'll be making the payment and please make sure the person's name tallies okay once you're in your bank hub right so now i've made a payment i'm back here click on transfer to notify do not make a mistake once you make your payment then the first thing is to click on transfer notify if you do not do that for a very long time the transaction will be cancelled and you don't want that to happen right so now we've already clicked on transfer notify and what we can see here is cancel and appeal button the essence of cancel is maybe you made a payment and it is not going and it is taking time because um, you don't want to be caught on a way, you know, something like that. You don't want to be too much in a hurry, so you can just click on cancel. That is only when you've not made payment to the person. Mm. But appeal is for you to kind of um report to Binance customer care that you've made payment and the person is yet to pay you. Please, when you are making payment, always do screenshots or make sure the app you are using carries name and the full details required. If not, you may find it difficult when you are sending proof because they will need the proof. But if so, now another thing is if you mistakenly leave the payment page and you find yourself here, you'll be like, What am I doing here? You can see order below. If you tap on it, it will take you back to your um the transaction you are currently doing. Because the reason why I say so is if you are a beginner, you are doing it for the first time, you find yourself, you may be mistakenly pressed back and you'll be like, Where is the transaction page? Once you click on that, to be brought back here. So do not panic. Okay. So right now I'm waiting for the seller to release the coin. And as you can see, the time is reading at the top. That is why the appeal button is not yet highlighted in yellow. So if the time has elapsed, the appeal button will be highlighted in yellow and be able to click. So right now I've so right now I want to tell this person that I've Payment has been made, but I'm still waiting for my coin just to alert him. So that's what I'm doing. Payment made, please confirm and receive and release coin and USDT. Then I'll tap on the send just to alert him that I'm waiting. So 
i'm back to this page now so i'm still waiting for him to release the coin you'll be getting two confirmations so he, he has responded thanks for patronage i think he has released the coin but i need to confirm two confirmations one on this chat box and one into your message to your phone directly a message from binance that's the two confirmations you're going to get if the coin has been released so i've gotten one here then i will show you the one on the message in my inbox so you'll be able to see how it looks like okay so you can leave this page or you minimize because i've already received one confirmation then let me show you okay now let me show you the message i'm talking about on this chat box let me highlight it so for you to see okay you see this is the message i'm talking about let me highlight it that is the one that is the first confirmation you'll be getting from binance your payment has been your payment has been received the assets usdt has been released to your wallet so now that's the first one then the second one is the one i said you will get in your um inbox on your phone directly so let me show you let me minimize this place to go to that place so this is it you can see you can check the time and you can see the quantity that i ordered for so that is how it will look like so these are the two confirmations you are going to get once the coin has been released so please take notes as you can see there's no more order in queue so if you are still here to this point please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like for more visibility i will appreciate that thank you so i want to show you how you can transfer from funding to sports wallet sports wallets because if you don't do that you will not be able to trade with the coin so now under funding you can see i have 175 here but i will not be transferring everything i will transfer just part of it which is 75 so let me do that for you to see you can see deposits withdraw transfer you will be clicking on the transfer button so when you click on the transfer button it will take you to another page so please do not forget because many people will be like i just bought a coin and i can't find my coin it is in your funding um accounts so unless you transfer so now we want to transfer so you'll be able to see it on our trust and on our sports wallet that's where we'll be able to trade with it so this is the page that we'll see once you click on that transfer you can see funding at the top as sport wallet at the bottom which simply means we are moving our fund from funding to sport wallet we did not buy btc so i'm going to change this btc now to usdt so in this box you are going to tap on it and change the coin which is usdt so if you like you can click on max if you want everything so if not just type in the amount you want and confirm transfer so that's you can see we have 100 left so at this point if you are yet to subscribe please don't forget to hit the subscribe button give this video a like thank you